The Speed Chess Championship Final was brought to you by On Juno. Sign up for a free checking account at onjuno.com to receive 5% cash back and a 2.15% bonus on deposits. It's your interest. Take it. We're going to find out right now because it's time. The 1-1 one, one portion begins and, uh, and the mystery will be solved. What kind of approach will Hikaru show? And there you go. Knight F3 and B3, his vintage bullet system, one that he employ employed victoriously against Wesley So. And he's played this so many times throughout his bullet career. And this position where it was temporarily locked up, pawns are now being traded. Look at Black's knight getting to C5, White's bishops on C2 and B2, staring at Black's kingside. Danny, who do you tend to like in these positions? I mean, from a practical perspective, I tend to like Ikaru because I've seen him play it and win it, right? A lot. And you know he knows the positions. I think objectively, it's hard not to feel like Black is just fine, right? I mean, that's why we were kind of surprised and critical when he played it against a super grandmaster like so, but it paid off. Um, you know, here again, I like Black's position. The pieces are are comfortable, they get control of the center, but all those things maybe don't make up for the experience that Hikaru has in these types of structures. It's a really fair point, and the bishop on b2, better than the bishop on e7. It looks like white's pieces are better placed, but at the same time, you know, once you get over that fact, it's not like there's any threats that are created. And actually, look at Maxime's clock. He's yeah. ahead on time, playing very quickly here and confidently, and now Hikaru's on 15 seconds. Which is, whoa, he hangs the knight on e5. Oh, the queen sure. takes. I mean, there's but discoveries, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm aware, but but wow. Oh, what a move, what a move, ignoring it because the knight can't move because h2 is hanging. That's the key move. He just doesn't, he doesn't fall for the tactics and now the knight is over attacked and pinned to the h2 pawn. Wow. And you, g4. <laughs> Just, this is going to be a wild finish. I have no idea what's going on here. Neither okay, do the so players, apparently. Maxime is thinking about it. Yeah, and he has plenty of time because of how quickly he moved. And Bishop, what a move! Distracting the queen. So what now? The, the knight is pinned on e5, and he goes queen h6, hitting the rook. Queen d2 is a threat. Oh my gosh, this is What crazy. a subtle move, too. You you keep the pin of the knight. Hikaru is... He's got himself in a pickle here. All the pieces are overworked. There's too many things under fire. Here comes Queen D2. The case. Can't move the knight. H2 is a problem. The knight can come into F4 if you want to. You can just take on E5. It looks like there are problems everywhere. Queen G5, pin that bishop. Look at wow. that. Wow. Queen G5 pins the bishop and probably wins the bishop and ties the match. Don't go anywhere, everybody. We gonna have drama right here, right now. Today's Speed Chess Championship video is brought to you by On Juno. With On Juno, you can create a free checking account in under five minutes, and that's pretty fast. They don't have physical branches, so you don't need to pay their executives millions of dollars in overhead each year. Plus, those savings are passed on to you, the consumer, in the form of 5% cash back on brands you love and use every day, including Amazon, Netflix, Uber, DoorDash, and more. Anjuno offers an industry-leading bonus rate of 2.15% on deposits, helping you grow your money, while Anjuno helps the game of chess grow. Backed by top companies like Sequoia and Polychain, Anjuno's clean interface and easy-to-use features let you take full advantage of the most powerful checking account on the planet. Click the link in the description below to sign up for an account today and receive 10% cash back on Chess.com memberships. Anjuno, it's your interest. Take it. 42,000 still on Twitch, 25,000 on YouTube. At one point, we were more than 82,000 live viewers. Uh, pretty epic, and we hope that you stick around. And I would say that for Hikaru, it's not good that you're giving Maxime this confidence because Maxime is a very capable player. Everybody knows that, but Hikaru is the favorite and he is a bullet beast. But now that Maxime wins game one, all of a sudden Hikaru, the match is tied. Maxime is the white pieces. He's playing very quickly. You have to play a good game here with black for Hikaru. And he's playing a good game right now with a space advantage and uh... That sacrificed a pawn is, you know, not a big deal. Wow, look at this. He's gonna use the c5 square and the c3 square. But here comes f4, right? So uh -huh. it's Watch about out. time that bishop, bishop on c2 is useless. Let's open up some part of the board for the rest of the pieces. And it's not gonna be easy to meet. 
Hikaru backs up the knight, trying to prepare to guard the f4 square. And here come the knights. I like Full that move for awareness, rook a6. That's more of a development to the king side than it is the queen side. Certainly true. G3, I'm not sure if that's good or bad because F4 you can capture with the G pawn now, but that opens the board up and look at Hikaru with this, but the, oh, rook B5? I wonder if he missed that. You're overwhelmed. E4, what in the world is going on here? What's happening here? No idea, but Maxime maybe didn't figure it out. I wonder if a queen sack was what the doctor ordered. Now he's in trouble and he's going to lose the d3 bishop. So I think you just sack your queen on e4. I was going to say, do it again. Here we go. Queen takes e4. The light squares are a problem. And it's two minor pieces for the queen. So that gives Maxime some hope here. Of course, Hikaru's position is better, but look at that. In rook on a6 under deck, bishop c4 coming. Now you can just take that rook if you want it. Oh. No, he wants more. Oh my he wants goodness. the pin on g6. Rook e4. What in the world? Wow. Can you take on g6 and leave the rook pin there? What's no happening? idea. He takes that. He takes rook. a6, okay. which probably was the wrong rook. You're probably right. Knight takes g6 was really maybe key. And he plays c6. So you can go rook d7. And knight yeah, is check. Watch out for knight is check. Check was a threat. The pawn was pinned. Oh, oh my god. He knew that there's a, there's a threat of a fork. Okay, rook g7. Rook takes g7. And then bishop h6, and everything's hanging. Oh my god, if this queen sack works out for Maxime, what a game. Okay, so now the rook is not hanging because knight f6 checks still. Yep. And six seconds for Hikaru. Five. Four, three, rook e6, okay, but h6 is falling. There's mating nets to boot. Oh my gosh, that king has to be mated. There's a threat of rook g8, rook d8, mate. He missed it. Oh, and he oh, missed he it too. He, but he pre moved knight f8 because he thought rook g8. Ah, because he did miss it. Okay. So what now? 10 seconds for Maxime. Who's right better? On E3. Who's better anymore? Oh, I don't know anymore. Fork. Okay, this has to be good for white now. Yeah, yeah, rook the two rooks D2. are too much. And the king is wide open. And rook G8 will be a mate threat. Okay, rook H4 does the trick. Knight, the knight's coming to G, knight G4 to bring the knight in? Yeah, if you bring the knight in, the mating net. No. Trying to figure out a way to get the rooks coordinated. Mm -hmm. Failing to do so right now. But this Still king should is be getting itself in a mating net. Rookie four blocks. Okay. It feels like a still a tricky situation. Oh. Ooh, that's a nice move. That's a nice move. Rook now you've rook at four. Oh, he goes rook at five. It's the same idea. Here comes the mate. The rooks are rolling. Move your king. Oh, I think he should have moved his king. Nice seven. Nice seven. He went the queen. The queen is forked. Hikaru shakes his head, leans in. And nobody gave Maxime Vachet the Grave the memo that Hikaru and Magnus are the best bullet players in the world. Not this year, he says.